everyone, welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on partial seams. Whipping up a little baby boy quilt because we know there's babies hatching left, right and center this time of the year. So I made one of these. So this is, I've never done a partial seam before. So thanks to my friend Pat. So thank you, Pat. Um, she gave this as a suggestion for our viewers and new sewers that this might be helpful. And uh, like I said, I hadn't done it before. So I'm very happy that I ended up doing it. So what you end up doing, partial seam is your, the first seam is really, that's all it means. You're only doing a partial sew on the first seam, okay? Uh, I started, well, I've actually done a couple. I've done a couple left and a couple rights, doing them clockwise and counterclockwise. So you can see a little bit of the different effect you're gonna get going either way, okay? So we're starting with the white piece and then we work our way to the, either this side or that side, you know, it depends on how you go, okay? So those are the end up two styles you can end up with. And if you had like a solid center of flowers on the outside, it looked very lovely as well. So, you know, mix and mix and match, right? So the first seam that I did across the top was the white. I started halfway, went from the edge and then stopped halfway. My next one, because now I've given myself a full seam on this side, is this piece right here. The one that's, that comes down, it gives me a nice full bottom piece to add my, la or my uh, bottom. And then this edge lines up to give me my last little piece on, okay? So we will do this one right here. Just have a little collection of colors here. And it should line up per per perfectly. Uh, these are 10 inches by, sorry, eight inches by two and a half and six by six for the center, okay? So I just kind of made up this pattern just so I could figure out um, how to do the partial seams. There is a classic flower pattern that um, was developed or that's how these partial seams came into to play in the first place, okay? So now you can see the one I left at the beginning halfway now I get to finish it. It should line all the way up. And then I just sew from the half to the edge. Don't sew from the edge to the half or you're gonna end up with a little tiny pucker in there and that's just gonna drive you crazy, okay? So sew from the half all the way out. And that gives a really neat effect when you're going around like a, maybe even a, like an I spy quilt or something like that, something like a very feature center you know, like even a fussy cut or something like that, okay? And then just press it down. And I chose this beautiful little dinosaur fabric for the backing and have a couple of strips of um, light blue flannel to border it up in case I needed it a little bit. So, but these end up being 10 inches, okay? 10 inches by 10 inches in the end. You may need to trim up just a smidgy widgy, but that's okay. And they, you know, if you do 12 of them, you got yourself, what, a 30 by 40 quilt, right? That's an awesome, awesome little baby size. And then if you want, slap a couple borders or even border these out, right? Uh, add sashing or something in between, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's do, oh, that was just going in that pile because I'm trying to even my piles out. So now I have two and two, two and two, I'm gonna have to have six and six. So I'll show you how to do the other one, okay? We'll go the other direction, which is starting from here on this edge right here, and we're only going to go halfway. And we're going to do a little back stitch just in case. Uh, I don't think it's highly necessary all the time. Uh, I'm just trying to get into the habit of it, and you know, just in case. So only go halfway. If you come a little closer, it makes it a little bit more difficult to line things up. So give itself. So it's got like a little flap, like. Ch -ch -ch second cut we're going on camera sort of thing and then we're going to sew down this side right here this nice long solid side that should be eight inches okay so we're just going to press that there okay and then I go and add whatever other piece I want whatever color I want to go next and it should line up right from corner to corner and then stitch on down And then that gives us the other seam that we need to get there eight inches across the bottom, okay? Okay, so then we take our second piece, whatever it is we've got going on here, line that up, go from edge to edge, okay? And 
And then we'll do a little press. You don't have to press after every one. Uh, even the couple of videos that I watched, they said, you know, just press after all of it. But I think it kind of sets that little seam a little bit flatter to sew on. So, you know, I'll, I guess I'll take the time to iron. <laughs> There, and there's our last one. And then we press, and then this gives us a nice place to line right up right there. Right? Two little seams or two little edges. Okay. And then you just trim up if you need it to be the, you know, exactly 10 or 9 and 3 quarters or 9 and a half or whatever. So. A little bit short on that one. It's probably just the way I fold it. Okay. There we go. And then we just press that. That's another stack. So that's partial seams. Not too bad at all. Perfect thing. Eh? There we go. That's how we're going to do it. Like thin right and counterclockwise and clockwise. Six of one, half a dozen of another. <laughs> so they say. And the key point is just the, that very first seam. You're only going halfway. That's it. That's what they mean by partial seam. You'd think it was almost partial on every single seam, but it's not. So it's just on the first one. At least that's what I came across. Does anybody know of one that you have to do on every single one? I can't, I can't think of anything that you would. So, but what do I know? Okay, so if that's on that side, we're going to do theirs. Do, 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 do. And that's what I'm going to plug away on this weekend while the boys are having fun. Enjoying their time with all the boys. I get to look quiet time. There. See, we're just working our way. So that's, we put the side part on, add the bottom, add the side, finish up the seam. Okay, do, 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 do. Put this on the bottom. There we go. And then line her up. If you want to do them all the same way, do them all the same way. I just thought I'd show you the, the both ways. You know, to do the clockwise and counterclockwise, it's the same principle. You're just working from one side around or the one side around. Depends on what's easier for you. Sometimes you left or righties, righty lefties. Okay, and then our last little one that we're going to put on. Okay, we'll add some gray. And I just kind of chose colors that were in the dinosaur little print itself. It had some gray, some different shades of blue. Well, different grays. I didn't choose black. I figured it had enough black in it. Uh, I didn't really want to add any more. That's why, I, if anything, I kind of just went a darker blue. So, not saying blacks don't belong on baby quilts, but I say minimal amount. It's not shouldn't be a majority of black. And unfortunately, I did not, I took pictures, uh, so check out the Mom and Pop uh, Quilt Shop Mafia group. There's pictures uh, up there of the um, t-shirt, Led Zeppelin t-shirt quilt, baby quilt that I made. Uh, I, it had to happen fast, so I didn't get to, we didn't get to film it, I'm sorry, but I did manage to take a few photos as I was going along. So. And that's how we just finished off that scene. And there we go, partial scene. Conquered! You got this. We got this. Right. Easy McPeasy. And then just stay tuned for a longer Wednesday where we're going to get all quilted up. So there we go. So now I've got, what, four of those. I need to make two more of that size with the, the going in that direction. And then four more with it going in the opposite direction. Okay? So that's what we did today, or what's what I'm going to continue to do on my weekend project. So, and I will see you uh, on Wednesday for Long Arm Wednesday. Tomorrow you get an extra bonus video because the boys are away, and uh, you'll just have to stay tuned for that. Surprise! Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. See ya!